Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a closer look at using the layer tools provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, your layer tools are located in the lower right hand corner. There's four tabs down here, and one of those tabs happens to be the layer tab. Now, by default, when you first start 1CNC, 1CNC uses a default layer called Layer 1. And you can see there's a little X right there, and that means that there's no geometry on that layer. Now everything that gets created now is going to be placed on that layer. So for example, if I just sketch a couple of arcs here, that looks good. Those three arcs or circles have been created on layer 1. Now to demonstrate that, we can hide that layer or turn it off just by clicking on the little eye there. So if I left click on the green eye, you can see that shuts the eye and the layer has been turned off. If I want to turn the layer back on, just simply left click on that. Now, if you want to rename a layer, just simply take your cursor and just double click on that. Now you just type in the different names. So why don't we call this circles? That looks good, so we'll click OK to that. Alright, now if you'd like to create a brand new layer, there's a couple ways of doing it. One method is simply just take your cursor inside the area here, right hand mouse click, and select this option called Add Layer. Okay. By default, you can say it's just called layer 1 again, and again there's an X there, which means there's no geometry. Okay, now, if I continue to create geometry now, it's going to be created on the circles layer, and that's because that layer is active or highlighted. Alright, let me demonstrate that. If I come over here and create a couple of lines, these lines are also on that layer because you can see it's highlighted. So if I turn that layer off, let's come over here and just click on the eye you can see that those those lines disappear. Okay, now I'm going to undo those two lines. Alright, now what we're going to do now is I'm going to, instead of having the circles layer active, I'm going to highlight layer 1. So I'm going to left click that. When I left click it, it becomes active. Now all the geometry is going to be created on that layer. So to demonstrate, let's make some more lines again. That looks good. Now those lines have been created on that other layer, so I can turn that layer off and turn that layer off as well. You can turn them on and off just by clicking on the eyes. Again, if you want to rename a layer, just double click on that and type in whatever you'd like. That looks good. Alright, now what if you create some geometry? I'm going to just sketch a couple of points here. And what if you decide you want to place those on a different layer? I've just made some points, and of course those points were created on the lines layer because the lines layer is highlighted. We can demonstrate that by turning that on and off. But if I want to take these points and now put them on a different layer, I need to select them first. So I'm going to go into our, let's just use our marquee selection tool here. I'm going to drag a selection marquee around that. Now with those four points selected, I now can come down to modify, and where it says layer, just type in a different name. Why don't we call this points? That looks good. I'll click OK. So a brand new layer gets created. That little square is red because everything on that layer has been selected. I can turn that layer on and off just by clicking there. Okay. Another thing to point out too is that within layers you have the ability to select geometry by layers. So here we have three different layers, circles, lines, and points. Of course you can come over here and select your geometry using any of these selection tools or any uh, hotkey setups or keyboard shortcuts, but you can also select geometry by layer. To do that, simply just check the little uh, square there that's listed to the left. So if I were to come up to circles and left click on that, it's going to select all the geometry on that circles layer. Same thing with lines and same thing with points. That's a pretty neat command. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.